Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. But the Repeating Banger and you, exclusively, you will definitely be notified. Well, the civil war is on right now between Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing and Devin the Dream Haney. Devin the Dream Haney um, was ordered to fight Sando Martin, you know, to defend his WBC title against Sando Martin. A pause beat was uh, ordered. And um, well, the only promotional company that put up the money uh, for the Sando Martin fight was Top Rank. And it was for I think two point something million dollars. That's like basically chicken change um to um Amy because you have to understand that Amy earned a lot of money against Garcia. I think he got paid around twenty something plus million, if I'm not mistaken. But official, you know, amount he got paid hasn't really been on video but i think he's a lot of money bro now dev any reacted to his friend his friend so-called friend eddie hearn not putting up, putting up um, a pause bid you know um at least beat him for the fight i you know listen in defense of eddie hearn i'm not an eddie hearn fan at all because i feel like eddie hearn is a guy that can that will throw you under the boss when you're no longer favorable when, when, when you're no longer productive however in this case Eddie Hearn is not David Ainey's promoter David Ainey has a promotional company and Devin Haney promotions didn't put up the money so Eddie Haney is saying listen business is business I'm not going to lo lose a couple of million for you because you are not loyal to me you know we are friends you're my mate but we are not you're not loyal to me you are not doing me any favor i'm i'm not getting anything you know so you like you're not family basically saying he's not family like i'm joshua let's hear from it right here at the end responding to a david Ainey's comment when david Ainey like was that a comment I retweeted a read on twitter and uh kind of like you know you no know, disappointment Matrum not bidding for the fight. I don't think any would take the fight against Sando Martin. But I think he, he thought Eddie Hain was just going to be for the fight, you know, do anything no matter what. But that's not how business works no more. Let's live for Eddie His unhappiness in his tweet yeah. that you guys didn't go for purse, purse beats for the Sando Martin fight. Just talking about what your reaction was when you saw that. Yeah, I was disappointed with the tweet, really. I mean, we have, firstly, we have absolutely no obligation to bid. He's a free agent. You know, a lot of these fighters like to champion the fact that they're free agents. And they all have their own promotional company. DHP didn't bid. They didn't bid because they didn't want to take a financial risk on the fight. What, so you won't, but yet I have to, even when you're not under contract to me or you're not, I'm not obliged to. It doesn't really work like that. I had a conversation the night before the bid with Devin Haney's lawyer, and I said to him, we would be interested to make Liam Parra against Devin Haney in a unification fight. Speak to the WBC, see what happens. I'll speak to DAZN, see if we're even going to bid. Come back to me. I never heard back from him. So, and I wasn't waiting for the call because I've got other things to worry about. I've got fighters that are with me. I've got fighters that I have contractual obligations towards that I have to deliver for. Now, Devin's my mate. I'll always back him. I'll always be there for him. But on a business level, I can't just pluck money from budgets when I'm not obliged to for fights that don't have the value. So, as I said, when you are a free agent, if your commercial value in a fight is high, congratulations. If it's not, that's when you need the promoter. But he doesn't have a promoter, well he does himself, but they didn't want to bid for it. So you heard it, you heard it from Eddie Aaron. I think he, he spoke for a big ups to a Boxing News for that, I don't know, their, their content, so I need I ought to definitely give them a shout out for this right here. And also, reacting to Joshua, next fight, Eddie Hearn, I think Eddie Hearn said something right here about 
who shall be family. Gation to, who also has his own promotional company where his dad is out talking to all the other promotional companies about who will give him the best deal here, there and everywhere. Not for me, me. So if it works for you, you will do it. Guess what? If it works for me, I will do it. Unless we're together, unless we have an unbreakable bond, unless you're part of the family. Eddie, Anthony Joshua, um, obviously I've seen Part of the family. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Anthony Joshua, part of the family. So, Delaney needs to understand that Eddie Hearn likes him. They are cool each other, they've done business before and stuff like that. But Delaney has always, he always took pride in being um, basically uh, in himself being a free agent. His dad, Billy, Billy, Billy Ainey, uh, is basically talking to all promoters and stuff like that. This is, as a free agent, you can talk to anybody. They can even talk to Turkey Lashik, for example. However, Turkey Lashik will not pay for, for fights that don't make sense. He will pay any, but he has to be a fight that is a 50 fight. Turkey Lashik, Turkey Lashik is known for that. And the any star power is not that massive yet. It's not, he's got star power, but he's not massive yet. He's not on the level of, let's say, Jivot Davis, Ryan Garcia, you know. Um, yeah, it's not on that level. Or Canelo, for example, that's, it's far from that. It's not on the level of Joshua or Tyson Fury. Even Deontay Water has more, more, more star power than any. So any need to build that. And he just lost and... Of course, the loss will be definitely um, ruled as a no contest because of Ryan Garcia popped dirty. So, Adam Joshua and Eddie Hearn are partners, basically. Joshua is Eddie Hearn's box. People will say, if Joshua wasn't a ticket seller, Hearn would have probably given up on him. Well, I don't think that would have been the case because Joshua and Eddie Hearn started from the bottom, basically together. At the end, was a nobody when he got into this. Of course, his dad had already already had had already established matchroom, but Eddie Hearn himself needed to build his name up. But he needed us. Listen, he had Afrosh and you know those guys, stuff like that. He had other guys, Ke Brook, but he needed a marquee signing. And he needed to build his own his own fighter, a fighter that signed with him. And then the fighter grow under his wing and the fighter become a superstar. Joshua is that guy. When that's why when Joshua when Eddie Hearn signed Joshua, he struck a gold mine, basically. Joshua is Eddie Hearn's gold mine. And then they built work good work relationship. Eddie Hearn looked after the Joshua. And Joshua is not a great talker. He's not a guy that loves to talk too much. He's he's not a trash talker. It doesn't, it's not in your face. Eddie Hearn became the mouthpiece of Anthony Joshua. Joshua would have been a star regardless with or without Eddie Hearn. But Joshua just have the horror about him. The way he carries himself is very professional. The way, the way he is. Bro, you see Joshua, the way he fights, everything about Joshua is basically, is like, is all a superstar that is written over Joshua. But Eddie uh, jo Joshua needed a mouthpiece like Eddie Hearn. Bro, great combo. They became Josh Joshua was working for Eddie Hearn, and then Joshua became the box. He became the boss. Basically telling Eddie Hearn, this is what I want, this is what I want. Joshua tells Eddie Hearn what Eddie Joshua's take make the final decision. Eddie Hearn knows this. And now they are family, basically like family. Joshua knows Eddie Hearn from 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 hop to bottom, basically. They know each other very well. They go they go to dinner together. J Joshua signed basically not a life contract, but signed a contract, an indefinite contract with Eddie Hearn, and is it works. They are part. They are they are, they are it's a partnership. Deva Amy, unfortunately, is not in that position. Of course, you cannot. Cannot 
David Haney is not to Joshua in terms of star power or anything like that. You can also look at another fighter like Canelo Alvarez, for example, right? Canelo Alvarez is a star. So he's got the 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 the, the crowd, he's got the, the, the stardom, he's got if anybody fights, you know, is huge regardless. And if he fights a broke man in the street, he still get paid. So yes, Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Hearn are very close. They are good friends, but Canova is not family to Eddie Hearn. Joshua is like family. Like Eddie Hearn doesn't consider that, doesn't consider Canelo Alvarez as family. Canelo Alvarez is like a, a a free agent. You can be you can be a free agent when you have the star power like Joshua or Canelo Alvarez. If you have that star power, I mean. But if you don't have it, you either you sign some. A not a long-term contract, but sign a, a partnership contract with a promoter who would actually promote your fight and have your back. David Haney enjoyed at the end paying him in some of the fights he had with Matroom and stuff like that. He enjoyed that. But now, he's now trying to say, well, he didn't do this. People are trying to say to him, abandon him. No, at the end, he's not his promoter. At the end, he's not obligated to to basically beat for that fight. The Sandro Marty fight is not an attractive fight, but I believe Aini should take the fight. But he wouldn't take it for the amount of money. Just fast. Aini is already contemplating retirement and saying that he's gonna go out of boxing, like basically not retirement, but go for a two year rest and come back to fight Ryan Garcia. That's a bad strategy. You have to stay active because in two years time, if you think Ryan Garcia is going to fall off, Ryan Garcia has got something in his arsenal that Devin Haney has to prepare for, but he has to be active in order to prepare for that, for that, for that, for that weapon. Ryan Garcia has the left hook. Devin Haney will get hit by the left hook and he will go down if, if, uh, um, if he doesn't prepare for Ryan Garcia. If Ryan Garcia is suspended, Haney has to go on basically a winning streak win fight stay active and when Ragasio comes back they have the fight you know what I mean at least at least he knows he win so um I don't blame Eddie Hearn at all Eddie Hearn made the right choice at the end is not saying listen all you guys can use me for money use me for clout use me you use me to to get some certified and then when it's time, when you make it, and then you are saying, you, when 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 it's time to repay the basically the favor, you don't do it because you say you're a free agent. So now stay a free agent. Then you you can stay a free agent and fight whoever you want to fight. Nobody's gonna blame you for that. But if your star power is not enough, you don't have the star power to command command a lot of like command the fee. The side fee and the ticket sales and the, there's no guarantee. Nobody's gonna put a lot of money on you. Nobody's gonna bet on you. So it's just one of those things, man. I think Eddie Hearn did the right thing. I'm not a fan of Eddie Hearn like like that. Because okay, I was a fan of Eddie Hearn before, but there's something he did to Aaron Davis that just made me not a fan anymore. But in this scenario, he's take, making the right decision. And in regards to Dazon, you see what I mean about Dazon? Dazon are not helping box in a way. They pick and choose which fight they wanna, they wanna air. They want a lot of like. This is what I'm saying. That's why they keep going about blocking people and deleting videos that doesn't violate their content or because you, you put a picture or something like that. Dazon is not good for boxing. Thankfully, Turkey Lashik is in, you know is is in the boxing business now. I know most of their fights. Most of the real season fire is gonna be on the zone. Most of the, if not all, will be on the zone in any of the, the zone platform around the globe. So, but I would have loved to see another platform take it as well. Because the zone are basically they are like they are vultures, bro. I tell you right now. But it's what it is, man. That's another that's another topic for another video. Eddie Hearn um, is right to not be for the fight and. First, firstly, he's not a promoter. Secondly, he doesn't hold Devaney anything in regards to business. 
third business business fourth, fourth and any is not family according to him a Jewish still what happens get on guys but if you share subscribe God bless you